speaking before it is even officially summer. The first day of summer is Thursday, June 20th. So Alex, I want to ask, how rare is it for a heat wave like this to take effect before the calendar has officially turned to summer? Well, we've seen heat waves happen, you know, in June before, but I think what makes this one so different is just the scope of it. How widespread this heat wave is extending from portions of the Midwest, even extending into the plains and then all the way to the East Coast and into New England. So it, I think it's more of the scope. You know, this is something we don't see all the time. You know, uh, we've seen, like I said, heat waves in June, but, you know, they're much more on a smaller scale, not as many Americans affected or they're confined to one small area of the country. What makes this one different is just how vast this is um, across a majority or you said about a third of the U.S. population being affected by this heat wave. What is causing such a vast majority of the country to be affected by this one heat wave? Do we know? I mean, I think it's just the placement of it. Um, it is just smack dab in a lot of the population centers. You know, you have major cities being affected, you know, Chicago, uh, New York City, Baltimore, D.C. You know, you have the I-95 corridor, of course, but then it also extends into some of those major cities in the Midwest. You have Detroit, uh, um, St. Louis, uh, Indianapolis, Chicago. So a lot of these major cities are being affected, and that's where a little, you know, a majority of the population lives. And so that's why, you know, well over 100 million af affected by this heat wave.